everyone hope you guys are doing well we are back with another what's sold uh, this is part two definitely some good sales news hopefully you guys will like what you see um, i'm happy i was re-watching the video as i was editing the screenshots and i was like man this was a definitely a cool weekend sold a lot of cool stuff uh, you'll see the rock and roll by there's some more stuff from there but you'll see at the end the total will show up of what it is so be on the lookout for that and i do get a question sometimes you guys will see this in the video i sell some lower dollar items uh, some eight to ten shipped video games, DVDs, usually those kind of things, maybe a CD or something. And uh, people have asked me, am I wasting my time? I guess it's all an opinion thing. Some people don't want to spend the time to list that kind of stuff. Maybe they have an abundance of higher dollar inventory. When I buy in bulk though, a lot of times I'm buying a bulk buy of CDs, video games or whatever. So it pays for me to take the time to sell those lower dollar items. And most of the time, the stuff I mentioned is going in a bubble mailer. So it's going really easy to pack. I'm taking one or two pictures of this thing. When I take a video game, I'm taking one picture and I'm, that's all. So I'm not really spending a whole lot and it's pretty easy to list and then ship and then the cost of shipping is rather low. So I can kind of do that and still make enough money for it to be worth my time. But I'm curious what you guys do. Do you guys sell those lower dollar things? Are you strictly like a certain dollar point? I mean, the cool thing about reselling is everybody has a different business model and whatever works for you, works for you. You don't have to mimic anybody else, but Obviously I do it and I'm not complaining. My sales are pretty plentiful. At least, you know, what I'm looking for, I'm getting what I want out of it. And I'm gonna keep doing it this way unless something changes. But I hope you guys take care and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with the What Sold for Thursday. A pretty good day. Pretty much became a shoe seller in one day, so that was pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. I got a bunch of stuff, so let's get into it. Don't want to waste your guys' time. We got an Epson 220 uh, twin pack here. This is from that discount store. You guys have been hearing me sell stuff from there. Paid five bucks for this unit. It sold for 25 shipped. I just bubble wrap it and throw it in the poly. Haven't had any issues, but that discount store has been paying off. I've sold four or five of the six or seven however many inks I have already sold. So that's been awesome. Here's a couple things from the rock and roll buy. I don't have the total added up, so we'll get to that later. Maybe another clip or something, but this is the Suzy Quattro unzipped book, sold for 12 shipped. And this is a Neil Young Complete Music Volume 1, sold in about a week for 35 shipped, something like that. So awesome deal there. Still making great money on that stuff, and we haven't even touched it all. It's going to be probably a whole year before I get it all listed, to be honest. Um, this is actually my father-in-law's. It's a Ryobi Charger. The model number is on here, the C123D. This whole drill you can almost get, I told this for 34 shipped, you can almost get like a whole drill with this for that price uh, by Ryobi. But for whatever reason, this particular charger does really well. I love selling chargers. Um, I sold obviously this for him, so I didn't pay anything for it or whatever, but he's going to get the money for it. But it's something I wanted to show you guys to, to look out for because they do sell. And he actually found these for me when we were looking through some stuff. These are iPod docks, A1153. There's two of them. I sold them separately. I just put them in the same bag so they didn't get lost, but... These guys sold for 23 shipped each, and they're going to go first class, so pretty good deal there. And then we got the shoes. These are some Clarks, like Chucko shoes. These were two bucks at a garage sale. Pretty good shape. Um, obviously, a little bit of kind of wear on here. Probably could use a little uh, cleaning up with some, like, polish or whatever. But I sold them. They still sold for 60 shipped. I was surprised. They're going global shipping, um, but 60 shipped on those. Here's some Teva sandals, Teva, Teva, they're size 13. Again, still pretty good shape, got 25 shipped on those. I think these were five bucks. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna go first class. They're probably, yeah, they're over a pound, um, but we'll probably ship them out for, I don't, know, I don't know if they're going to pad a flat rate, but maybe around eight bucks or so. So there's still some profit to be made there. And then these Harley boots are in really good shape. Um, these ones I think I got in a big lot from storage unit guy. We paid $150 that day, and these boots alone sold for $95 shipped. They've been up for a while. They were listed at $120 or $125. I only took that offer of $95 to get them out of here, but again, they're in really good shape, so happy about that. And the final set, at least for now, to show you guys, and don't mind that stuff over there or the hanger on the ground, but these are two Camry, Toyota Camry OEM uh, floor mats. They're for the front, um, the driver, and the passenger front there's no rear ones I actually sold the rear ones separately because i couldn't find one of these ones for the front so i sold the rear ones off i think for about 45 shipped and i thought if i ever find this other one i'll lot them together which i did sold these two for 48 ships so if you can find oem floor mats that are in good like really good condition there sometimes can be some money there again 48 shipped i don't even roll these usually i just like lay them flat and they go fedex for like 12 to 13 bucks and i just ship them and get them out of here so they don't really weigh a ton and even though they're long 
and ends up being a pretty, you know, small package, so dimensions you don't get crushed. But I'll get those packed up and out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next clip if there's any more sales. Hey everyone, final sales from Thursday. Sold Naughty by Nature CD for 8 bucks. This is from a buy that I had. I showed it in the video. I had bought a bunch of hip-hop CDs and kind of rap CDs as well as bunch of like Bible story books and different kinds of stuff. This one sold for eight ship. The comment was they've been looking for this CD forever and they're so glad to finally find it. I'm not sure how rare it is because it was only worth eight bucks, but that was pretty cool. Here's a Chevy like bow tie emblem here. It's got the part numbers on there, but you'll see on the screen. This sold for 17 shipped. I bought two little Chevy emblems. I paid 10 bucks, I think, for both of them. Maybe it was a bad deal. Uh, they're both going to sell for about 17 ships, so we'll make a little bit of money. I guess I maybe even paid 15. I don't remember. I didn't look them up. I thought for sure they were going to be worth it and wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But happy to get rid of it, happy to get my money back and move on. And these ones I think I undersold. These are Maglite um, flashlights, the ML300L there. Um, brand new, they were like 30 bucks each um, in the packing and everything. I listed two of them for 30 ship, and they sold instantly. Like, right away, I listed them before I think I finished the next one, they already sold. Maybe I just got to the top of the surge right when somebody was listing or looking for them, but sold them together. Probably could have got 35, though, I'm guessing, when I looked back. But uh, these are a part of a big buy. Just happy to get rid of them for 30 shipped. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. We're back with the weekend sales. So, an awesome day here. I want to say 43 or 44 sales. Don't quote me in case I'm off. I know I sold two more things which would make it 45 or so once we had those and they just sold recently. So we'll show those in the next clip and we still have a few hours left. So I'm hoping for even more. These are the kind of weekends though, that you just look forward to where just sales are coming through like crazy and moving all different kinds of product, lower dollar, higher to higher dollar collectibles. doesn't matter what it is. It seems like it's selling. This is also the kind of weekend that people ask me like, why don't you just go full time? And just to get that out of there because I like my job and I like the benefits and I like, the consistency with the paycheck. So I don't think I'll ever go full-time because I'm able to kind of squeeze this in uh, on top of my full-time job and it seems to work okay. But this is something you can do. I think most people would be happy with this kind of weekend. I sure am blessed and thankful for it. So let's get into it, not to keep you guys too long. Digimon uh, Bandai, like a little handheld electronic game. This one I've had for probably a year now. Bought it with a bunch of video games. Um toys and a bunch of sealed stuff like a sealed scrabble express i know i still have that one too at the time i listed them super high thinking okay well i'll hold on to them till q4 and they might sell them but they just sat i had this one at 200 which i knew was high i was hoping for about a 150 offer never got it ended up taking a best offer this weekend of 125 i think i paid 250 that whole day and i bought a bunch of stuff so getting 125 for this is awesome and i still have that scrabble express um here is a um cupcake bear i bought a bunch of builder bears these are the older ones from the 80s i think i ended up paying like 50 cents each and i bought like 20 of them and um, this one sold for like 22 shipped i'm down to like two or three more left so they've really sold um, individually usually i used to just lot them up but i decided to try some individually and it's kind of paid off so i can't complain about that here's a bunch of builder bear sketcher shoes and different kinds kind of see this whole bag this one's a little a little bit rad in the back but a whole bag of them they're all matched up so everyone has a match these were, I think, $6.99 at a Goodwill or a Savers. Um, ended up selling them for $40 shipped on the best offer. It's taken a while. Probably were better off like selling them individually, maybe, or in little lots. And people would have bought them because who needs this many Build-A-Bear shoes? But I was happy to get rid of them for $40. We still made some money. Probably going to cost us $10 or so to ship them, but nothing wrong with that. Some books. I uh, don't have the tools in the rock and roll by, so I'll get back to that in one of these clips. So just keep watching. But sold this guy for $20. He's from that lot. I think this one sold for 13 or 12 or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But that one's also from that buy. And so is this. This sold um, overnight. Listed it and sold overnight. It's a how-to enjoy your sewing machine for a brother. There's the model there. Um, I wasn't going to list it. I was like, nah. And then I saw someone listing like a manual. And it was they were listing theirs for about 10 It was kind of similar, but not this one. So I just listed mine for 10 and it sold right away. So I probably could have got more money, maybe 12 15 bucks, But... I'm happy with that. I put it in this bag just because it's a little, little thin. I didn't want it to break up. And then I also sold this from the same buy, that Thing You Do soundtrack book, song book. Um, this one was no list, no real comps for it. Even on, uh, I don't remember on Amazon, I don't think there was really stuff going on there. I listed it for 17 shipped or 16 shipped, and it sold in the same day. So I probably underpriced it, but 
happy to get rid of that. Some more of the four color plotter paper for the TRS-80. This one is um, a sealed box, but the box has some damage. I had like six of these. I've sold off four or five. This one sold for 22 shipped. Goes in a pad of flat rate. Some DVD Secret of the Blue Room sold for, I don't know, nine, ten bucks, somewhere around there. That is not from the Rock and Roll Buy. It's from a different one. 21 Jump Street. These were 50 cents each, and I want to say they sold for not a whole lot. 20 shipped, 20 something shipped. I'm not sure. There's so many sales, not to brag, but I just can't always keep track of the exact number. So whatever you see on the screen, that's what it sold for. But those, I think I paid two bucks for whatever they sold. They go media. Wally, I think, sold for 12 shipped. He's sealed. I uh, got him the same day. I got this Family Guy 2-pack from one of my sources. I got a bunch of media that day. This one sold for 10 shipped. And then this one was also there, this Looney Tunes movie collection. This one sold for 55 shipped on a best offer, brand new sealed. Crazy. Did not see that coming. This is also from... Uh, the Rock and Roll by uh, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, sold for eight shipped with Steve Martin. Never even heard of the movie, but eight shipped there. I got two of these, um, Agatha Christie, Porod, Por Poroy, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this one was sealed, Series 2. I sold Series 1 for like 13 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. It was open, but this one was sealed and it sold for 34 shipped. I paid 10 for both. And then lastly on the DVDs, this was also from the... Um, a buy where I got the uh, Looney Tunes and stuff. Bought a bunch of media that day. This one sold for 38 shipped. Uh, it is used, but it's the Bruce Lee collection. I've sold it brand new, I think, for 60 or so, so it's one to look out for. Some cassettes. Scarface from the big rap uh, cassette buy. The die, I think, sold for 20 shipped. Some TDKs may have sold for 12 shipped or something like that. We won't make a ton there. Uh, Before You Were Punk, I think, sold for 8 shipped, 9 shipped, 10 shipped, something like that. That's from the Rock and Roll buy. So is this Budgie Bandolier, sold for 10 shipped, also from the same buy. And the Kinks Chronicles 2-disc set, that one also sold for like 12 or something. That's from the Rock and Roll buy. So pretty good. Here's some more of that Ericsson parts. These are for that like telecommunications stuff. Um, this one sold for, I think, 15 shipped. It's just like a bracket. Same buyer who always buys my stuff bought that, so... Happy about it. Hopefully we'll, they'll buy off the rest of my stuff. And I hope I can find more because it sold really well. Bust to Move, I think, sold for 10 shipped for PSP. And Spyro and Spyro Ripto's Raid sold for 50 shipped. These ones are in pretty good shape. The discs are, like, really nice. Uh, 50 shipped on those. I want to say I paid 10 bucks for that or for those two. Something like that. An LG remote, 7 shipped. Usually I don't, sorry for the focus, I don't sell remotes this cheap. It's 8 bucks is usually my low for most items, but... I already taken the pictures, and then by the time I went to comp it, seven shipped was where it was at. So I'm like, I might as well list it. I already took the time to take the pictures, and it did sell, so probably worth it. This little Amazon Ethernet adapter, I think, sold for 15 shipped, something like that. I paid two bucks for that with the um, IR extender as well. It didn't have the fire stick, but I knew that one would part out well. Um, the Bachman N scale engine here, this one sold for 30 shipped on a best offer. It looks like it's Needs some work. I listed it as is, but took a best offer. 30 ship. That came from the big train building buy. So you've probably seen me sell some train buildings. It got that train with it. Some toys from the Star Wars and Lego. $1,600 buy. This is Commander Cody. You can see his box card is a little damaged here. If I can bend it back without breaking it. Sorry. There you go. He sold for, I think, 30 shipped. Darth Maul, same buy. I think sold for 20 shipped. Somewhere around there. And then this uh, Camino Conflict. Battle pack, same buy, sold for 50 ships, so great deal. Um, and then we have uh, these Nightmare on Elm Street, kind of VHS lot. These sold for 50 ship for the six of them, so that was awesome. Some Littlest Pet Shop from the big Littlest Pet Shop buy. We spent 15 on all those pet shops. This little set alone sold for, I think, 25 or 30 ship, just cats. Uh, here's a Vanguard um, sharpshooter, a little... Metal here, focus isn't good, but that's sold for 10. I get those from one of my sources every once in a while. He gets them, and every time I get them, they sell for like that 8 to $12. They don't always sell quickly, but if I can get them, especially get multi-quantities, I love to have them because they're super easy to pack and get out of here. Here is a Mizuno um, Catcher's Mitt. I think it's Catcher's, yeah. Uh, this one sold for 49 shipped, so good deal there. N64 controller, 25 shipped on that. This reel right here... I got it. I actually got this when I got all those DVDs, the Bruce Lee and stuff. This one, I think I paid three fifty that day. Um, this one sold for seventy shipped. It is a C Line six hundred by Daiwa, and I have two of them. So I had one that has no line on it, and one that has line. I didn't take the time because it takes so long to get the line off. Um, it's like I didn't really want to waste the time. And this one sold first with the line, and I said the line's no good, but someone bought this one first. I just thought that was weird. 
Um, here's a Wii U uh, gamepad. I paid 10 bucks for this with some like PSP and PS1 games. It was a weird lot, but this works and it sold for a hundred and something shipped, 110, around a hundred bucks shipped. So that was a great deal. This sold right away. It's a PS2 Fat um, with one controller, no games. Uh, sold for 80 ships, sold pretty quickly within the same day. So probably was a little on the underside, but I'm happy to get it out of here. Uh, I think I had 10 bucks in that with some games, and I'm going to part out some of the games. So it was definitely a good deal. This is a Shure um, microphone and receiver piece here. This was 10 bucks at a what is it called? Fundraiser sale, like in a parking lot for some school choir. And I bought a bunch of stuff there. It was The prices were great. It was 10 bucks on this and it sold like 140 shipped, 120 shipped. You'll see on the screen, but great deal for 10 bucks. These were from a storage unit guy I buy. I think I sold these for 55 or no, 65 ship maybe. They're not in perfect shape. There's a little bit of staining on the, uh, the front there, but the bottom of the shoes, the soles look really good sides look good i mean they're a clean looking shoe it's just that staining right there so maybe that'll come out but got those from him and then we got some converse these are surprisingly from the rock and roll buy these were in there i guess every rocker needs a set of converse chuck taylors or whatever but these sold for like 40 ships i listed them high pretty high for a used pair of shoes and i thought i'd get an offer of like 25 or 30 but someone came through and bought them full price so not sure why. And lastly, just for fun, did a um, auction on a bunch of cassettes that I had um, from the rock and roll buy that just weren't really worth my time listing individually, at least from what I could tell. I did pull out some to list separately, and I've done that, and I still have more to list. But these were ones that looked like they were, you know, anywhere up to $5 shipped, and it just really wasn't worth my time. So I put them in an auction at $84.99, free shipping. I ended up selling for like 122 sorry for the glare, but 122 um, and some chain ship. So I'm happy with that because I, if you guys remember, I spent 735 on all the rock and roll stuff. And just getting 122 on a bunch of stuff that I was going to donate otherwise it is awesome. And the sad thing is, is that I want to say I did donate some cassettes off the bat. I didn't even think to do this. I want to say maybe another 20 or 30 I was just throwing them in a donate pile and I didn't even think to lot them together. I was like, oh, it's not worth my time. And then I brought them off to donate and now I'm like, man, I could have added those here and maybe, you know, scored a couple extra bucks. But either way, auction worked out. I was happy with it and I'm happy to get rid of all these. Plus they ship media mail, so that's awesome. I will see you guys in the next clip with what else sold. Take care. Hey everyone, we're back with the final sales from the weekend. I ended up having six more sales to finish off than I think I had two when I was recording the first clip of all the other stuff. So awesome to have four more come through. So let's get into it. Probably my favorite sale are these flavor aids. I bought a bunch of these for 10 bucks. I think I ended up with maybe 40 or something like that. Little packs. Um, so this person had bought pallets. I also got the RIT rust cleaner. If you ever see me sell the RIT rust cleaner, I got that there too. And um, I listed these in packs of five, so it's actually 10, 10 flavor little packs inside one case. And I listed them in a set of five for 30 shipped, and the first one finally sold. So I already made my money. We're already in the profits. They'll go first class. And um, we have, like I said, seven, six or seven more of these lots. So if they ever sell, that would be awesome. But I just looked at them like, oh, there's probably somebody out there who just loved Flavor Aid. I don't even know what Flavor Aid is. I was like a knockoff Kool Aid, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully, there's no issue with that. This is a Lake Rousset, great brand to look out for. I'm surprised this one sold. Yuck, it's all beat up in there. I still sold it. Um, they may have bought it just for the lid. These lids are the ones that are hard to find. I've sold individual lids for 40, 50 bucks. I sold this whole unit for 60. I wouldn't be surprised. Obviously there were photos in there. It shows that it's from poor condition, but I wouldn't be surprised if the person bought it just for the lid and they don't even need the other piece, but we'll see. Uh, a Canon floppy disk still image recorder. Don't even know why I picked this up. Paid 10 bucks at an estate sale. I looked online and there was one listed for like 70. No solds. And for whatever reason, I still jumped on it at 10 bucks, thinking for sure this old kind of tech was going to sell. And it sat for probably almost two years. Took a best offer of 40 ships. So happy to get it out of here. 10 bucks into 40 is not a bad deal, but for two years, I wouldn't pick this one up again. Uh, not really worth it, and I don't even know how many buyers are really looking for this. It is in the box. It is used, but in really good shape. Everything's in there. Uh, these are from the um, discount store I go to. I've mentioned you guys before. Um, I got these were like two ninety nine each, I believe, for the packs. Plus, I pay tax, so almost ten bucks. And this lot sold for thirty five ship. Not an amazing deal, but again, it's like retail arbitrage. They're all sealed. 
They actually have more of these. I didn't pick them all up. They've had them there for a while. I didn't think they were worth it at that price. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a shot on a little group of nine and see if they sell. I am going to go back probably tomorrow and pick up whatever else they have there because obviously they are selling and I think the price price range is worth it. Plus it'll be a multi-quantity listing. A couple of Kenny G CDs. You got Faith, The Moment, and Breathless. Um, these are from the Hip Hop CD buy I had. I just had three of them, lotted them together. They sold for 12 shipped. Honestly, I, I've seen that some of the Kenny G sets, if you have a bunch, like four or five CDs, you can sell them for 20 bucks, which in my opinion would be worth it. So if I get another buy of CDs and there's a bunch of Kenny G stuff, I'll lot them together and sell them like that. And lastly, the Minecraft um, Complete Handbook Guide or whatever box set. This was actually, um, my mother-in-law had this. It was, I think, my sister-in-law's. And they were getting rid of some stuff. She asked me to sell it, and it sold for 28 shipped. So that's not mine, nothing into it, but... She'll get the money back on this one. But it is still something, guys, to look out for. If you see this for maybe 5 bucks at a garage sale, probably worth picking up. And you can get that 28 shipped going media mail. So nothing wrong with that. So that's it, guys. i got to get this packed up. Packed up. Hope you guys uh, have a blessed day and take care.